are clinically depressed, which we all found out later. We didn't know at the time. I just you know, thought that, you know, but, you know it, it, would, it, would, it would just depend on, you know, the day that I would wake up and, you know, and, and you know, wonder if, you know, I was going to have the, the loving, nice mom. And, and some days I would wake up and wonder if I was going to get my ass kicked. So it was, um, you know, my dad left us when I was, um, I must have been like five or six years old or something. is therapy it's more of a mental thing for me you know it's not so much a physical thing for me it's a mental thing um i you know and the more people realize that it's mental and not physical i think the better off people be uh <laughs> it's the most challenging workout on the planet preparing for armageddon um and uh from the first time I went, and it was Raphael was actually teaching, because I do remember that. Uh, it, it was like the fastest hour of my life. It was one of the most challenging physically hours of my life. And I was a professional figure skater at one point. Um, and, and it was so much fun, but also it was so hard that I was immediately hooked. terrible diagnosis and um, I have the tech check two mutation for breast cancer and they found five tumors and I had to go through a double mastectomy and and I was like up until my mastectomy I was like I've got to get fit for this I've got to get my body as strong as it can be so I upped my circuit works and I told I told some of the staff like what was coming up for me and what I was anticipating was going to be the hardest recovery I had ever had physically um, and Raphael sent me flowers he was one of the first who sent me flowers when I got home which I was so overwhelmed and it was so kind and thoughtful uh, and I felt like I felt so excited to get back to circuit works because of that, it was beyond what I could have ever, you know, thought of, and it was so kind. I'm Katie Randall, General Manager, Circuit Work Santa Monica. Is that my title? Yeah. I'm the everythinger. I am from Nebraska originally. Um, my California mission started in Santa Barbara, where I played college volleyball and basketball, and then where I naturally just fell in love with the West Coast. Um, my trip and mission to LA started when I joined a group of leaders while living in Santa Barbara out of LA, um, just declaring bigger things for my life, and I declared LA. So this is where I found myself. No. <laughs> <laughs> on call 24 7. I'm on call 24 7. I mean, the, not at 11, basically from like 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. <laughs> I get a break. <laughs> at 4 1, your alarm goes off. Yeah. Well, especially when it, I think when it turns summer, like we lose power a lot. Like just little tiny things where the poor fucking CSR at 5 a.m. has to like figure out how to log in to like all these platforms. And some of the logins will be something that like an old GM or like Raphael or someone made up and can't even figure out. And it's like, well, who's, we gotta figure it out. Who's gonna figure it out? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> and recognizing the different types of people. There are people that are controllers, there are people that are that are promoters, like all of our trainers are promoter. Promoter is someone that's, you know, likes to be have the, the, the limelight, you know what I mean? That's someone that's, you know, wants to be in front of the camera. 
And those make the best trainers. So when you have someone in a room and you're giving auditioning them for a trainer position and you can see they're feeding off of that sort of audience, those people make the best trainers. You're able to pick them out the way they sound on the mic. A controller is a great manager, you know. Katie's definitely a controller. <laughs> you know, she, you know, she, it's all about results for her. It's all about the end game. And you're able to, you know, sort of, you know, see those strong points in, in how she works with people. And uh, when you're able to... Oh man, well, my experience started at the front desk every Saturday and Sunday morning at 7 a.m. Sometimes that was amazing, sometimes that was really hard to do. Um, my experience at that point was that there was a lot of opportunity here, a lot of growth, a lot of need for more management and more leadership. Uh, my next transition was experiencing being a manager of this team. And every day I learn like 20 different things, not only about myself, but about how other people navigate and work and what people might respond to or not respond to. Um, it really felt like being captain of my volleyball team again. Working with Raphael has been this weird, weird blessing because he has allowed me and encouraged me and pushed me into a lot of tasks that I might not know anything about, but setting me up to know that I can figure them out. And in light of that, I have learned so much about every aspect of not only running circuit works, but running business in general. And for that, I like wake up every day, like so happy. The relationship between me and circuit works, it, it's my home. I wake up like, What's going on at Circuit Works? Do I have emails? Do I have texts? I go to sleep. Check your calendar. What can you do for everybody for the next day? I like crave it when I'm gone. I think about my team members probably too much. I genuinely consider this home, like not my apartment. Like this is my home right here. This floor, that bathroom. I mean, we're open at 5 a.m. and we're not out of here until 10 p.m. So, Circuit Works is home.